Okay, I uh, I just got this uh, Yamaha Silent uh, SLG 200. And I wanted to play it for you. So the first thing I did <laughs> is I put uh, nickel strings on here instead of the, the bronze that came on it. Um, it's just a little bit easier for me to play. And and I'd, I'm more of a uh, just an electric guitar player. But there's hardly any difference between the, the sound because it's a just a, a piezo on the bridge only. So um, it uh, strings don't make that big of a difference. What I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you my signal chain real quick. Um, and then I'll start playing here. But... Uh, so I've got the uh, big sky on. I've got the iridium, got the flint, and I've got the electric mistress and the uh, Strymon dig. That's what it sounds like with, without all the bells and whistles. And so then as I add them on, I've got the iridium. What's great about the Iridium is that when you turn on your distortion, it just sounds so bad. It's like, it sounds like the, it, it's just squished and fuzzy. It sounds like a fuzz pedal. But then when you turn on the Iridium, it cleans it up and separates it like it's supposed to be. It, it does the magic of a uh, actual uh, amplifier. But there is one thing I had to do with the Iridium. When it when you get it, uh, I got this brand new, uh, less than probably about two weeks ago. And when I got it in, it was real hot. It was like uh, uh, very, uh, I, when I tried to uh, connect just my new uh, Uber shell, uh, Bogner Uber shell to it and turn it on, it, it would, uh, would kind of make some, um, of you know, when you get too many uh, preamp, distortion pedals going you start getting all these all this feedback and buzz and all that kind of stuff and it was doing that and I was like oh man that I'm, that's gonna be a problem but I knew that if I could turn down the input to it that it would fix itself and that's exactly what it did see uh, that's what it sounded like with that boost on is that that hissing noise um, uh, but this pedal's kind of noisy, but with just one pedal on, it sounds really good. And but uh, so there is a input that you can uh, lower it. But I think it's like either 10 or 20 dBs, and when you do that, you get a really good, a really good match. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out about the iridium, and also this flint when it came from the factory, um, it had the uh, it had the it had the uh, reverb first, and then the trim tremolo, or vice versa. I think it was reverb and tr to tremolo. And uh, I didn't like the way that sounded, and um, so I flipped it, and I just love the way it sounds now. So there's your reverb. Put your tremolo in there. Yeah. That's just the way I like it sound because I play mostly ambient stuff. I know it it mimics a uh, a real amplifier. Uh, like an old Fender when you have it the, the original way, but it just sounds better to me this way, because like I said, I play more ambient stuff. Anyway, that's enough about those pedals. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go uh, play a backtrack. I'm, I've got another clean channel here where I've just got...
right so this is this channel this is just the big sky right here so I have it I have it with the, with the really big wash you can definitely turn the wash down and just get a normal reverb but I like to use it in a wash wash for what I'm doing because this isn't my primary signal this is this is all this without the big sky so this is basically So I'm going to combine that and play a song for you real quick here, so uh, bear with me here.
So uh, this uh, freak out, this Digitech freak out, you can still get these brand new. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, I haven't. I've always wanted a, a pedal that would sustain my note forever and ever and ever. And this one does do it pretty well. Pretty good job. And it works well with the Iridium, so it kind of sounds like an amplifier. Uh, normally when I play, I, I play at my church, and I just use a tube amplifier, and I, d I use about half these pedals. But recording at home, um, I kind of like to play around with pedals and try to get some weird sounds. So hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, really like the, uh, new, the new Yamaha. Um, these are really, really well built. They're, they're uh, designed in Japan, of course, but they're... Um, they're made in China, but the electronics on them are just awesome. It, the way you push the button and turn it on, and you push a tuner, it just the buttons feel very high quality. Um, it doesn't get real, real loud, uh, just with the volume on here. Uh, even listening with headphones, but it's it's perfect. I mean, uh, I often I end up pulling my headphones off to make sure I'm not making too much noise around me because it sounds so good. <laughs> Hit like if you liked what you saw and hit subscribe if you want to hear more. Thank you very much. Bye.